Caroline's playing a, a, a harpsichord or pianoforte or whatever. And um, again, we can't have her playing, she can't play for real anyway, we can't have that sound getting in the way of the dialogue. So uh, on most of the shots, we hear a bit of the music just to get everybody's timing correct. And then the music dies, the dialogue carries on. And then um, when we turn the cameras around to look at her playing, we could then just play the music through. She mimed to it. Lady Catherine is very, very grand. She's the um, rather alarming representative of the upper classes, and she's firmly convinced that that's the best system and the system that should stay in place, and she's protecting it fiercely. Mm, that's a guinea for me, Mr Collins. Even an experienced actor like Lindsay Duncan finds a challenge in a complex scene like this one. Well, there is a scene this afternoon which is a card game, which I will find a bit of a challenge. I can't play cards to save my life. <laughs> I've absolutely no idea what's going on in it. Um, and uh, I'll find that really difficult. That will be the, you know, patting the tummy and rubbing the head thing for me. Um, it's how to remember your lines and remember which card to play. And... Um, that's going to be a nightmare. But, but funnily enough, the, the people um, I know, uh, um, like family who've read the script, go, oh, I love the card game scene. But I'm a little bit trepidatious about it. <laughs> Quite glad when that one's over. Next on Lost in Austin Behind the Scenes, how to stage a fight scene. It's handbags at dawn for Darcy and Michael. Michael, no! I do not want this! Amanda tries to smash her way back into modern life. And it's a wrap for Darcy, Amanda and the crew. Coming up on Lost in Austin Behind the Scenes, Amanda Price brings the house down. Well, almost. Darcy is challenged to a 21st century duel. And it's a wrap for the cast and crew of Lost in Austin. <laughs> the art department have constructed the top corridor of the Bennett's house here inside a warehouse in the middle of Leeds. They're about to shoot a scene where Amanda tries to smash her way back into the 21st century. <laughs> Elizabeth, I tell you this for free. If one of us doesn't get through this door, I'm going to have to do something drastic! Door pickaxe. The most satisfying juxtaposition. Often wondered who was silly enough to leave this there. Serves no earthly purpose. Please reassure Mrs. Bennett I'll be out of the house in ten minutes. I shan't take anything I didn't bring with me. Don't forget that. It's not mine. I don't know how to thank you. Yes, you do. Be reconciled with Jane. Do it soon. There are only three days of filming left, and it's back to 21st century London for Amanda Price and Fitzwilliam Darcy. This scene is set in Chiswick in London, but it's being filmed in a street in Leeds. The Pride and Prejudice audience that know and love the book, they have to enjoy it, and they have to enjoy the nuances of where we've taken the book off plot. But at the same time, you, you can't repel an audience that isn't familiar with Pride and Prejudice. So you've got to signpost to the audience that actually this isn't what's in the real plot. Um, and getting that balance was, was one of our biggest tasks. And only the viewer will know whether we have got it right. But I think we have. I hope we have. Almighty, I know, I know, I know. Oh, God, so much has happened to me. I need another lifetime just to tell you about it. Today, they're filming uh, the fight sequence. It's the sequence where Michael, who is Amanda's boyfriend, meets Mr. Darcy face to face, and uh, all his jealousies and fears come to the surface, and, uh, and he tries to hit him. Um, with... <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> and who was that? That's, uh, that's Michael, uh, played by Daniel Percival. 
he's practicing his, uh, his, uh, yeah, his pull up to the to the fight. And the sun's come out, which is good. <laughs> oh, Michael, no, I do not want this. I'm afraid, sir, I can consent to be struck only by my friends. You and I lack introduction. Michael Dolan, how do you do? Oh, no, Michael, stop this. Oh. How dare you lay violent hands upon Miss Price? I said stop. Day 45, the last day of the shoot, and the crew of Lost in Austin are working right up to the wire. Here in a studio in the centre of Leeds, Elliot Cowan and Jemima Rupa are filming their last scene together. And Miss Price, I am decided I was wrong about Charles and Miss Bennett. I should never have obstructed them. It was a shameful cruelty against your blameless friend, and I beg your propitiation for it. People who know about the story and are big fans of Austin uh, will be the best people to watch this, because they'll be like the aficionados who get all the in-jokes, all the references, which otherwise people will just enjoy for the basic comedy and romance of the story, I think. Good night. Okay. Completes with Elliot Cowan. Yeah. Jemima is in virtually every scene of our four hours. We needed someone who had exceptional comic skills, managed to make an audience really engage with her and care about her. We had to care about her love story. And one of the things that's so great about Jemima is that she has this very striking look and with her kind of wonderful auburn hair uh, that unlike the other female characters isn't in beautiful Georgian ringlets. Every scene that she's in you know you're looking at a modern woman. Complete with Jemima Rupert. It's a rat. It's in the cab. Thank you. Well done. Well done. I'm going to cry tomorrow when I go home. <laughs> I miss everyone. Uh, relieved. We got through today. We had a huge amount of seats today. So, um, yeah, excited now, actually. Looking forward to getting to the edit. No more bonnets or dresses or anything. I can paint my nails and back comb my hair. <laughs>